Hey everybody, it's xwooly763x, and what you guys are watching today is a terrified video of me. Today is December 20th, 2012, and you guys might be thinking, what? Uh, I'm preparing for the end of the world tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow the world will end, and I am here today to tell you guys what I am bringing and what I'm going to do to be safe during the end of the world. Alright guys, let's go through it, and hope you guys are safe, and prepare for the zombies, guys. Just prepare. All right, let's go through it. We come over here. And let me set this up. All right, guys. I have a tripod, so I don't want to. All right, there we go. All right. So what you guys are looking at right now <clears throat> is going to be a pretty long video, but whatever, dudes. It's just for the safety of us. All right, so what you guys are looking at now is all the equipment that I will be bringing with me. Like, right out the get-go, as I leave, I'll be bringing this stuff with me. So here, we just have paintball gloves. They're really good. They have heavy protection up front, and it's good for multiple reasons. So yeah, paintball gloves. Next, we have a paintball gun hopper. This is good for a lot of different reasons. Oh, well, not for a lot of different I mean, you could hold stuff in it, but the primary use of it is uh, for the paintball gun. So yeah, paintball hopper. Next, we're going to have to bring a paintball squeegee. I am, Yes, I am bringing my paintball gun. And not to kill the zombies, but to ward away other people. Which is a very good idea. So here we have a paintball gun squeegee for the barrel. And next we have the paintball gun itself. I do not have my red dot on. You can see my, my rail right here. I do not have the red dot on right now. Because I do not want to take it out of the box. Just in case something happens to the gun, the red dot will be okay. So yes, I do not have the red dot on. You see the clip in there. This is where the paintballs go. If I can show you guys. Yeah, where the paintballs go. So yeah, paintball gun. Keeps you safe. Custom products barrel. Paintball gun. Next, up front of it, we have my paintball gun accessories. I have a tank here. Just a normal tank. To supply air to your paintball gun. I do have a coil, so I can keep that on my back. I'll have the coil on me. That'll be good. And I just have four pods. They're all full of paintballs. This one's the only one that's not full is this one. It's uh, almost full. But yeah, four pods just full of paintballs. Good to have. Don't want to waste them all, but good to have with me. Next on the list, we have this. And you guys are wondering, what the heck is that? And yes, you guys know my pet snake. He's living over there, right over there. If you guys can see him, I don't think you can. But yeah, I have a pet snake, and I don't want to leave him behind because the zombies might get to him eat him. So I'm going to put him in this tub, take him with me. Easy to carry. I can just keep him in here. And yeah, really easy. I can get somebody else to carry in my group because I'm the only one who's prepared. So I can get somebody to carry some of my stuff. Next, that's the stuff I'm leaving with. All right, next, we have those paintball equipment. We have... A leash, you guys, you know, that's pretty simple for my dog. My dog needs to be on a leash, so a leash. He doesn't need to be on a leash. Like, he can actually walk next to us just fine, but just in case, leash. Next, we have the clothing I'm going to be using. I'm going to be wearing, leaving the house with BDU pants, standard military issue, and a military canteen belt. Good quality. Stay on for good amount of time the shoes I'm gonna be wearing I'm gonna be wearing military Bates combat boots yes combat boots Bates this is authorized for the US Army you guys can read that this is authorized for the US Army and for flight and combat vehicle crewman use so yeah I'm gonna be using combat boots actual combat boots so yeah these are Bates you guys can see Bates. I don't think you guys can see it. But yeah, combat boots. Next, we we're going to move on to the supply of food. So I'm going to scooch all this over, move it up to a different area, and we're going to get to the food. I'm bringing food for me and my group only to last us for about two, three days. I'm not bringing food to last us for a month. I have other supplies and means of getting food. We have... This is actually not food for me. These look like um, 
This looks like, what you want to call it, uh, crap, beef jerky, but it's actually dog strips. Good for my dog so we can eat, keep them healthy just for a little bit, and find them some food. I also have dry dog food that I'll be bringing and I have in bags. So yeah, for my dog. Next, I have important food. Three of these, just uh, Chef Boyardee ravioli. Good to have. Keeps you full. Good food. You can just eat it straight out of the can. And yeah. Next, we have just tuna cans. Tuna is good for a lot of multiple reasons because it's tuna and it, it's tuna and it's good. All right, so I dropped a tuna can. So yeah, tuna can. Next, we have something I like to have with me. It's actually really easy and good to eat. It's just marinated, grilled, already cooked asparagus. You just open up the can, pop an asparagus in your mouth, and you are good to go. So yeah, asparagus. Pretty good. And there's a whole bunch in there just to snack on when you're hungry. So yeah, and bread, of course, which I'll be bringing. So yeah, that's that. Next, we're going to move on to other supplies that I'll leave with me in my pockets. And here we have my computer desk, and we have a hoodie. I'll be leaving with this hoodie on to keep me warm over the nighttime and stuff like that. I'll take it off if necessary. So here we have a lighter, just a standard lighter wrapped in um, cord. We have a watch to keep time. We have a paracord bracelet for multiple reasons. We have a cell phone. We have a screwdriver and a pen. And we have my wallet, of course. Wallets always good to have and we have headphones and an iPod. That's the keep me entertained and don't my keep my sanity level down and me in control of what I'm doing. So yeah, that's everything I'm going to be bringing guys with me in my pockets. Screwdrivers for multiple reasons just in case I got to unscrew something or a lot of different reasons I can use it for. I can stab a zombie in the eyeball. Stuff like that. And a pen to write quick notes down just in case I need to know streets and stuff. So yeah, that's that. We're going to move back over here. And we're going to go, see if I can set this up properly. All right, we're going to go over my other means of fighting food. This is a, a fishing kit that I made, and it's just wrapped with two things. That way I can just throw it on my shoulder and go. So this is just, this is a Travel Mate Shakespeare fishing pole. You just take it with you. It's collapsible. Stick it wherever you want. And it's a, a six foot fishing rod you can just take with you. It's six foot, six inches. So it's a pretty big fishing rod you can just take with you anywhere. And this, of course, if you don't know what this is, then you're not a fisherman. So this is just a pack of different fishing articles. You could use lures, plastics, etc. Here for fishing. And I have some more in the back. And hooks and stuff. And stuff that I could be using. So yeah. And then I have a here, if you guys want to see it, I might as well just pull it out. Stuff that's in here, this is what it it, it, it holds. You know, here I have a tube, and this tube is multi-different colors, and I have a worm in there for fishing for bass and stuff. So yeah, tube, and a worm, and a whole bunch of different uh, frogs, stuff like that, loaded in there. And just on this handy thing, where you can just lift it up and take it, throw it over your shoulder, and you're good to go. Bam. Next, we have the backpack most important thing i have on me right now so here we just have a yin yang necklace it's good to tie stuff with i only chose it because of the necklace cord it has it's really freaking strong so i put that on there i'm gonna go through the front pocket and this front pocket is jammed here we have waterproof matches starts fires good to have with you close them up waterproof matches we have three camping glow sticks light at night you can walk around you can see people with it stuff like that next we have sparkles just in case you need something to like light a fire you need to hold on a little bit longer so you can light more stuff with it also use a little bit of more light than a normal candle or whatever you are bringing. that's good to have first aid kit great to have a flashlight a standing flashlight that way i can set it down and just don't worry about it Next, I have uh, silverware, uh, a light-up thing that I, I enjoy to have because it's a whistle and it lights up. So, the whistle, good to have. I have two more mini flashlights, and this one isn't working. So, yeah, I haven't prepared my zombie equipment bag in a while. So, yeah, so, 
We have another flashlight here. There we go. I just needed to shake it. So there, another flashlight. Two flashlights. Silverware. Silverware, just a disposable kind. This one looks metal, but it's actually plastic. It's just disposable silverware. And that. We have one more flashlight. Good to have with you. Total of four flashlights. And I have a pack of cards to keep my sanity level, you know, good. That way I won't go freaking psychotic. And my Altoids 10 Survival Kit. If you guys don't know what that is, go check it out. I made a YouTube video about it. It's a survival kit in this little Altoids kin. You guys can see. Check it out. It's a little Altoids tin. That's a survival kit. Good to have. And we have, of course, my dog tags. Just in case I die, they know who I am. So, yeah. That's that front pocket. Next, we're going to go into my main pocket. I don't have it packed yet, but this is basically everything I'm bringing. This, if you don't know what this is, it's an otter box. Not what goes on your phone, an actual otter box. 100% waterproof. Keeps all your valuables safe. My phone, my iPod, my wallet, sting like that. Keeps them safe. And that's my computer actually going to rest. So let me shake that off because that's crap. But All right, yeah. So an actual otter box. Next, we have just an assortment of clothing. All that's in there, and we have a huge can of mosquito repellent. You know, gotta keep the mosquitoes away. We have this is a box of nine millimeter ammo ammunition for a gun. Just a box of bullets, good to have for the gun. Next, we have a sandana. This is just a normal sandana for paintball. Or for whatever. This is a paintball sand. And it keeps the sweat out of your eyes. And it's good to have with you. Next we have a pair of a lot of freaking cord. To tie stuff. Make trap stuff. You need a lot of cord. Here you go. Next we have a pair of fishing pliers. Braided line cutters. Pretty good to have with you. You know it has a knife and stuff. That's good. Here we have a simple knife sharpener. Sharpen knives. Good to have also. Next, before I pull that out, here we have a multi-tool. Pop that open. You guys can see that. Knives, screwdrivers, stuff like that. Good to have with you. Alright, put that back up. And lastly, we have my knife. It's a standard gin survival knife. Here we have a stone front pocket and my knife. Pop it out. This is my knife. And it's a really, really good knife. And I'll show you guys why. This is a little pocket. There was a compass here, but it actually fell out. So it's just an empty hole. But I use it now. You can use it to like start a small fire in there. Move the, move the things to a bigger fire. So yeah, you unscrew the top. You unscrew it. And get to the center. And here we have two rings good for multiple reasons and when you see paper in there and let me pull that out because that is actually is paper so let me grab something to pull it out with and that actually is paper and the reason I have paper in here is to make notes on and to start a fire see if I can pull all this paper out all right well you I can't pull all this paper out it's kind of stuffed but in an emergency situation I'll be able to just Alright, there we go. Paper's out. So, yeah. I have a quite a bit of paper in there. And if we keep going, we have band-aids, matches, alcohol prep pads, a fishing hook, a small amount of fishing line, and a whole bunch of assorted items of that nature just for survival. So, that just keeps it, you know, in a small little area where you can keep all your stuff safe inside of your knife. And this knife is used for multiple reasons. You can stab a zombie and you can freaking cut stuff and it's a good knife. And yeah, so hope you guys are prepared. Zombie apocalypse happening tonight. I'll be sitting outside my window at midnight and just waiting for it to go down. And I hope you guys are, are prepared. I really, really hope guys. So I'll talk to you guys later. This is probably my last video ever. So hope you guys have a nice day. Thank you for subscribing and... Hope to see you guys out there in the battlefield. See you guys later. Bye. It's been X Willie.